Hey, thanks for coming to Heinen's.com. I'm Chef Billy Parisi, and I've got a great recipe to get you ready for those fall winter months. It's a roasted butternut risotto with a maple and mustard glazed boneless pork chop. The longest part of this dish is gonna be making the risotto, but we need to roast that butternut because we don't wanna steam it in that rice. So in a pan with a little bit of olive oil, we are gonna get that butternut super caramelized brown on all sides, while in a separate pot, we're gonna make that risotto. Go ahead and dice up some yellow onions and a little bit of olive oil in that pot. We're gonna caramelize them very well. We're gonna add in that our barrio rice, toast that up a little bit. Next, we're gonna deglaze with some white wine. Once that butternut squash is completely brown all the way around and is almost done, we're gonna add it to the rice. To make risotto, you add in a little bit of chicken stock, one ladle at a time. And before it's almost done, we're gonna get started on our pork. If your wrist and forearm aren't in good shape, it's sure gonna be after making this risotto. And in good Italian fashion, you better stir the same direction. You got at least 20 minutes for this to completely cook through. Okay, I lied, I changed my mind a little bit. Let's go ahead and finish off this risotto before we get started on the pork, since it will actually cook pretty quickly. So to hook up the rest of this risotto, we're gonna finish with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, butter, and some fresh chiffonade sage. We're gonna adjust the seasonings with salt and pepper, put a cap on it so it remains warm. Next, to get started on our pork, season both sides very well with salt and pepper. And these pork chops are beautiful. They're Heinen Source Verified and USDA Certified. And in a smoking hot skillet with a little bit of olive oil, we're gonna sear it until it's completely finished. We'll be brown on all sides, about medium to medium well in the center. We're gonna remove the pork from that pan. And in that pan, we're gonna hit it with that chicken stock we got left over from the risotto. Cook that down a little bit. Hit it with some maple syrup, some grainy mustard, and some fresh thyme leaves, adjust the seasonings with salt and pepper, and then it is time to plate up this perfect dish. If you're looking to walk away from a meal extremely full, then this is the dish for you. It is very hearty with the risotto and the pork. Great flavors, you're absolutely gonna love this dish. Thanks so much for stopping into Heinen's.com. Be sure to come back next time and see what we hook up next. I'm eating some of this.